Hi everybody, Larry Graves here. Uh, this is a continuation on my previous video about organizing my CD collection. I'm just going to be finishing the CD collection off, organizing them. And also somebody asked me about a tour of my small apartment. And why not? And it's actually, I've been actually cleaning quite a lot today because uh, today's Friday but I have Fridays and Saturdays off and I enjoy cleaning for the most part vacuuming and whatnot I don't even mind doing the laundry and so at the moment my apartment is in fairly good condition I mean sometimes especially when I'm working during the week it gets untidy and messy and <laughs> there's days I don't want to vacuum uh, a funny little story is uh, this one girlfriend that I had the very first time she's over at my apartment. She, she's looking around and it, I guess it was really neat and tidy at the time. And so she was kind of taken aback and kind of wondering, uh, are you sure you're not gay? It's, and no offense to, to gay people, but that's what she said to me. And uh, no. <laughs> So here we go. Like I say to uh, women I date, I am 100 whole heterosexual. Here we go. This is the window looking outside and it's very, very cold. Something like minus, maybe minus 15 Celsius. And I guess we're going to get more snow tonight. This is where the cats, you might see them in some of my videos on Canadian stuff, often this is where they sit, one up high there, and they're kind of spoiled because the other one can sit here, but of course they like that one most. And there's a color printer, it's just a cheap one, I think it cost me like $30. I got it because I needed color for something I was doing, but I now have a, a laser printer and I love it because, uh, you know, you don't have to buy ink all the time for it and I've got an extra uh, cartridge for the, uh, got an extra laser cartridge or whatever you call them. This is my computer, which uh, you've, uh, might have seen on my Canadian Stub Muffin channel. This is what my oldest son Ryan got me one Christmas. A Beatles lamp. Very cool. This is a Canadian loony. I want to do a video. I want to do a video. Maybe on this channel of Canadian money sometime. It's hard to see that though. Uh, so it's still a little messy, but there's my old chair, it's all worn out, but still very comfortable. My couch, my coffee table, which is a little off-center because I've been vacuuming, and those are the rest of the CDs I'm going to be putting away. Uh, some of my Paul McCartney box sets, my TV, I believe it's a 42-inch. Uh, HD, you know, one of the high quality ones. And I just have Netflix now. I don't have. Uh, I got rid of cable two years ago, and I really don't miss it because any shows I want to watch, you can watch most of them online anyway. On my Canadian, ugh, on my Canadian stuff off the channel, I just did a review on Coca-Cola Life. It's actually a, almost an hour video, and I never make long videos like that, but it's like a Christmas special, I guess. And I also do a review on these safety shoes. That's where Mittens Jinx, my cat Jinx never sleeps there, but Mittens loves that spot. There's my CD collection so far. Uh, this is an old, uh, an old picture that I'd given to my dad years ago. And then when my dad passed away, 
my stepmom gave it back to me, and it just kind of reminds me of my dad there. And I had two sons, of course, that one I believe is a girl and a boy, but it still kind of reminds me of my dad. Because they had a house out by the water, and we had a dog. It doesn't look like the dog I had, but it just reminds me of my dad, basically. That's an, a picture my first wife Nancy and I bought at a local mall. Always loved it. We actually saw the artist painting them. So we, we bought it after he signed it. M, I believe it's M.S. Hansen. There's my boys when they were younger. That's Ryan and Michael. They're now in their early 30s. And those are from, uh, I was kind of surprised, they're from the Beatles Yellow Submarine DVD inside. It's really cool. Here's my bobblehead. <coughs> That's a, a parody of uh, The Dark Side of the Moon by my friend Rob Morgan. Uh, his band The Squirrels, and it's excellent. It is really, really well done. And all of my CDs, of course. More here that don't fit on the uh, shelf. I might not actually do the organ, the finish off the organizing because you got the basic idea last time. I'll just show you my apartment. Led Zeppelin. They're just too long to, to fit in here. Uh, I bought that at a local mall. There's a mirror there that is just for show. I never even look at it. And my son, my youngest son, Michael, got married last summer. That's my stepmom. And that's my grandson, Noah. And they now have another child. I have a granddaughter. And they also have an older grandson. Ben, Noah, and Cecilia. And these are some of my DVDs and Blu-rays. And more CDs. Box set of Magical Mystery Tour DVD and or Blu-ray DVD and uh, it's on my channel anyway on my ASMR channel an unboxing of it. Some U2 stuff that I'm no longer interested in. This is my hallway. This is a door. It's a long hallway and. I've lived here for close to five years now, and it's still in pretty good condition, except, of course, the cats, especially Jinx, the oldest cat, likes to tear at the rug. So at some point, unless I move, it actually doesn't look probably that bad, but it kind of bugs me. <laughs> and this is my kitchen. And my son, son Michael, the last two Christmases, has gotten me a Beatles calendar. This is looking outside on the side. It's a very comfortable apartment. Like, I've been very happy. You know? I mean lonely sometimes, obviously, especially after the marriage breakup, but cats can lay on that one. Of course, it's not high enough. They, they can jump up on the... Uh, window sill we sometimes do to look out there. An old stove which needs to be cleaned. This is a little messy because I'm still clean. You know it gets messy uh, for, for a day or two and that's like oh my god I gotta clean this up. Fridge with some stickers that a very good friend 
Colleen sent me. One of the cat toys that they play with. I spray it with a little bit of uh, catnip spray and they play with that and have fun. And this is where I usually close the door. I do, sometimes I'll let uh, the cats sleep in the bed with me, but usually I don't. I close the door and they sleep here and they're happy. Except I, they don't sleep on the baking soda. <coughs> I have uh, two closets and then recycling. Of course, here in Ontario, we, we recycle coats, including my girlfriend Karen's coats. Another crap up there. And the other closet. I won't open it up. Well, I will, but at the bottom is, uh, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. There's everything there. And at the bottom is the uh, cat's cat litter box. And so the stores kind of close like this. I have a nail so it won't close. So it's usually opened just like that, kind of. And you can't smell the cat litter. We, we, I have this brand of cat litter that has been excellent. Double duty. And now, what all of the women have been waiting for. The bathroom. I won't go in there too much because the, uh, the sink's fairly messy, but uh, it's a decent sized bathroom. And it even has a toilet. Yes. That's the uh, play I was in. Remember me, a poster for it. And now, for what... <laughs> this is probably the messiest room. But when I first uh, looked at this apartment, I was really impressed with the size of the bedroom. It's basically pretty huge. And I opened that closet because I'm going to show you something. There's my green screen, which is usually just hanging there. Uh, everything's a disaster at the moment in here, as you can see. I have a toolbox, which I never use. What a messy place. I have really old uh, dressers. And I keep my wine in here because I like to keep my bedroom cooler than everywhere else. And I'll mention the rent uh, for this area, the rent is awesome. It's, I'm going to be paying, it's, it's been raised $10. I'm going to be paying, look at me for a second. I'm going to be paying uh, $735 per month, but that includes heat and hydro. So it's a great deal for this area. And there's my air conditioner I have in the window in the summers. Definitely need it. Gets very humid some winters. I listen to music here. And I've got a little ghetto blaster that, besides uh, on my computer listening to Spotify, I listen to CDs on this. It's a decent, decent quality CD player. And who's that on Daddy's bed? It is Mittens. Hey, you relaxing? Yeah. Queen size bed. And of course, on my Facebook page, you can add me on Facebook. The, the link sh should be in this video at the very bottom. Uh, there's a video where I'm uh, taping my <laughs> my curtain rod because nothing will it's like uh, there's no you know what you don't one of those things so there's nothing to attach it to and of course it's falling again uh, but as you can see I'm not much of a handyman so yeah and this is of course a mess 
my guitar I can't play. Uh, winter boots, you need those in Canada. And that's basically it, and except for my closet, which is a disaster. Elvis Costello, good book, Billy Idol, a couple of hats from comedy characters I used to do, 1,000 record covers, a book on Johnny Carson, Ugh. 40 years of Rolling Stone on DVDs. Anyway. Another little vacuum cleaner. Just a bunch of junk. Uh, my, my clothes. I am colorblind with red and green. There's a video on this channel about doing a colorblind test. And so, as you can see, a lot of my shirts are just black or gray or white. Uh, not that they really have to be, but... This is for the uh, ugly Christmas sweater, although it's not really a sweater, but it's a heavy, heavy shirt for my work that I'm going to be wearing to work next week. But as you can see, in a lot of band, there's Frank Zappa, Pink Floyd, Captain Morgan, one of the best rock bands ever, a band you might have heard of, the Beatles. Black Sabbath, ACDC, the Beatles again. But as you can see, there are a lot of blacks and dark grays. And, ooh, a blue shirt. Wow. And another blue shirt. Beatles Let It Be, The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, The Beatles. The Beatles, McKesson, where I work, wow, that's a different color, Led Zeppelin, Neil Young, who I saw in Kingston, Ontario with my son Michael, I think it was like four years ago, very close to the front of the stage, and it was awesome. The Rolling Stones. YouTube, you might have heard of that. John Lennon. Pink Floyd. Probably my favorite t-shirt. That, uh, my... It's actually Inside Out. I'm not gonna... But it's, uh, the Swan Song label picture on the inside there that my girlfriend Karen bought me. You might see it in some of my videos. McKesson Beatles. Beatles. Boy, this guy's beetle crazy. Brian Potvin from the Northern Pikes and that's about it. said I'm not in really picky really picky about the order but they're sort of in pretty good order now and I'm almost done <clears throat> I forget where I was when I stopped previous video. Lots of Frank Zappa. <coughs> Genesis. Grand Funk. The Guess Who. Humble Pie. 
Johnny Cash, Jefferson Airplane, Jimi Hendrix Experience, The Kinks, Klaatu, Led Zeppelin, Lou Reed, The Northern Pikes, Great Canadian Band, Paul McCartney, Paul Simon, Pearl Jam, Pink Floyd. <clears throat> now the chair is kind of in the way of some of us, the Rolling Stones. Randy Newman, Steppenwolf, of course Sparks, one of my favorite bands. If you watch my videos, I think you've heard about them by now. And yes, so I'm down to why, so even this. I still have to change things around because there's there, there's tea here. I don't mean tea as in coffee. I mean the letter T and the tubes, Ted Nugent. But it'll be pretty easy to put those into the collection. Talking Heads, 10CC, Canadian, great Canadian band, the Tragically Hip, The Who, XTC, and yes, Yoko Ono. I do like some Yoko Ono music. Raya Deep, The Undertones, The Vibrators, Wire, Velvet Underground, More Wire, XTC. So that's it. That's, that's the end of another exciting video, and uh, in case you don't know, I have another channel, mainly, well, I do comedy videos and rock music vlogs and uh, just basically a variety of things, and it's uh, Canadian Stub Muffin, you should see a link below, and like I said, my latest video is almost an or could be an hour long, so if it might have a little bit of ASMR in it, uh, I don't know. It's just me basically talking like I am now. Although I talk a little quieter, I've noticed, in these ASMR videos. But, like I said, it's still natural to me. I'm not forcing anything, so... Uh, and I really appreciate everybody that watches my videos. And please, as I've mentioned on my other channel, thumbs up the videos that you, that you do watch, because I guess it really helps with the ranking of the videos on YouTube, and I shall say goodbye. Have a great day, and just in case I don't post another video before Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.